So I think that most people, most, are starting to see that this COVID-19 global pandemic, it really is serious. And at first, I think a lot of people doubted its severity because this really is unprecedented. And I can give normal people a pass for not necessarily knowing just how serious this is or would be because, you know, this is a lot of information to take in. It's, it's pretty overwhelming. So a lot of people don't necessarily know what to do to protect themselves. But what matters at times like this is that we have responsible leaders to instruct people and set a good example for them because people are scared. People don't necessarily know if it's safe for them to leave their homes. And if so, you know, what can they do? But when it comes to the issue of responsible leadership, we have some individuals who aren't just irresponsible, just but just downright dumb. Uh, one is Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt, who implied that it's perfectly fine if you go out and eat at restaurants, even though the CDC says we should be practicing social distancing and self-quarantining. This is what he tweeted out and then promptly deleted. Eating with my kids and all my fellow Oklahomans at the collective OKC. It's packed tonight. So in other words, this tells people, look, I know what the CDC says, but I'm eating out, so it's perfectly fine if you do the same thing. This is very stupid because people who follow you, people who believe what you say and trust you are going to go out, expose themselves or potentially get exposed to COVID-19 and expose their loved ones, individuals who are immunocompromised, individuals who are elderly and vulnerable. So, I mean, this is just it's downright idiotic and things like this. They're borderline criminal. Like, I said the same thing about Tom Perez instructing states to not postpone primaries during a global pandemic. It's it's criminal for him, it's criminal when Democrats do it, and it's criminal when Republicans do it. Like, this shouldn't be a partisan issue. This shouldn't be something where people play politics. Like, stop being stupid. Stop trying to be cute. This is a global pandemic. Yes, it's new. Yes, we've never dealt with this before. But let's take it seriously, and people will take it more seriously if those in power, positions of leadership, take it seriously. Now, on Fox News, you know, a channel that has not been helpful in taking this seriously um, until recently, arguably, they brought on Devin Nunes. He is a member of Congress, and he basically downplayed the severity of COVID-19 and, you know, diminished the need for social distancing and self-quarantine by actually recommending that people leave their homes to eat at restaurants. Because since everyone else is self-quarantining, hey, you can get right in. Take a look. And well, there's a lot of concerns with the economy here because people are scared to go out. Uh, but I will just say one of the things you can do if you're healthy, uh, you and your family, it's a great time to just go out, go to a local restaurant. Yeah. Likely you can get in, get in easily. There's, you know, let's not hurt. Uh, the working people in this country that are relying on wages and tips to keep their small business going. You know, going. we're very so sympathetic. Don't run to the. Don't run to the. Understood. Yeah, just don't run to the grocery store and buy buy you know four thousand dollars of food. Right, they're cleaning go, off the shelves. You know, shelves. go to your local uh, local pub. Yeah. Be yeah, that's just downright stupid. And if anyone ends up getting sick because of what he recommended they do, he should be held accountable for that. Anyone who is telling people information that is going to get them in trouble, uh, endanger their lives. They should be held accountable. Again, when Tom Perez says that people should go out and vote when we need to practice social distancing, when Republicans say go eat at restaurants because you can get in easily now, this is all borderline criminal behavior. It's unacceptable. And it's just disgusting. And he basically tries to pretend as if he cares about working people. No, you should go out and eat at restaurants, according to him, because we want to make sure that those people who rely on tips, they still get paid. Well, how about this? You're in government. If you truly cared about low-wage workers, you can do something. You're in a position of power. Don't encourage people to risk their lives and expose themselves and others because you refuse to take action in Congress. Like, this is just maddening. Now, he got a lot of pushback for this. And he kind of started to walk back his statements. And rather than just basically trying to downplay the severity of COVID, now he's saying in this interview with Sean Hannity that actually, you know, the reason why I told them to do that was not because I was diminishing, you know, the severity of this global pandemic, but because it's actually safer for people to go to restaurants. Take a look. We, yeah. we, we have a problem 
out here because we have people standing in line for 45 minutes at Costco. And so what I was saying is you have empty restaurants, you can go through the drive-thru, you can do takeout. Uh, it's a great place to go. Uh, the media freaks can do what they want, but you know, they're endangering lives here by, by continuing this panic when we have no food shortage in this country. The farmers of America produce an abundant food supply. We have more food than we can eat in this country. And we ought to stop panicking and ensure that people know they don't have to wait in a line at Costco for 30, 45 minutes. They need to stay calm. So the only reason why he told people <laughs> that we should ignore what the CDC recommends is because it's actually safer for them. Don't listen to the CDC. Listen to Devin Nunes. That's essentially what he's saying, because, you know, waiting in line at Costco, that's a lot more of an issue. You're exposing yourself more than just going to a restaurant. Devin, stop talking. <laughs> just stop talking. You can apologize and admit that what you said was irresponsible and dangerous and try to instruct people going forward how to best protect themselves. Again, you're in a position of power. You have a large platform on Twitter, on social media, to where you can reach out to your constituents and help them protect themselves. But now you're trying to do damage control when we, we don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. And he says, the media freaks, they're the ones who are endangering lives here by continuing this panic. By reporting what the CDC says, the CDC is telling people, avoid crowds that are larger than 50 people. The White House is saying avoid crowds that are larger than 10 people, but Devin Nunes knows more than everyone else. He knows more than the scientists. He knows more than the CDC. And he's saying, you know what? The best way to protect yourself is to go to a restaurant where there's these really like closed quarters. And um, that's how you could protect yourself rather than buying supplies to stock up long-term. I mean, the guy is a fucking idiot. And what he's doing is dangerous, but in a separate video where he went back on Fox News, he tacitly admitted that his previous recommendations were moronic because guess what's happening now? Restaurants are starting to close because to stay open when there is a global pandemic that we are desperately trying to contain, that's just downright dangerous. One of the things that I've been harping on uh, the last few days uh, since I've been back here on the ground in California uh, is the, the hoarding uh, and the lines at the grocery stores. Uh, you know, and up until today, we still had a lot of restaurants that, are, that, were, that were open and they could have you know, met some of those needs for people that, that needed food. Uh, now, just on my way uh, here to do this show, Laura, uh, most of the restaurants are shuttered in my area. Uh, and so, you know, this is, this is not a good, a good situation at all, and people are going to be hurt. I wonder why the restaurants are closing. It's almost like your previous recommendation was completely idiotic and dangerous. Listen, everyone needs to acknowledge the severity of this. And if we aren't going to have individuals in power be responsible, then we have to arm ourselves with information. It is of the utmost importance that we contain this virus. That means we practice social distancing, extreme social distancing. We make sure that we do not leave our houses unless we absolutely have to. This is something that we are not ready to deal with. Just if you wanted to get a test if you feel symptoms for COVID-19, there's an article in the New York Times that explains just how difficult it is to get a test. So there's a lot of cases currently. There are deaths every single day in the United States. But whatever the issue is now that we're dealing with, the extent to which we may not know because we're not doing enough tests. So we're kind of operating in the dark and we have to make sure that we put a cap on this, right? We lower the curve so we actually can survive this because i mean you see what's happening in italy and the u.s is even less prepared to deal with this than italy is so we have to be responsible here stay home some people don't have a choice some people cannot stay home some people work in emergency services but if you possibly can stay home ignore idiots like devin nunez who just casually suggest that you should go to restaurants because you're going to get in easily that is deeply irresponsible at this point in time we all should be practicing self-quarantine if we can 
And anyone who does this, anyone like Devin Nunes, Tom Perez, who suggests that you should go out and expose yourself potentially to a disease that is fatal in some instances, they are deeply irresponsible and should be held accountable for saying things like this. Beta male, not a beta male.